In this video, we look at how you can install MySQL Server and MySQL Workbench on Windows System. MySQL Workbench is the client which is used to connect to your MySQL Server. So here for this demo, we are using Windows 10, but you can follow the same process for any version of Windows like Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 7 or for Windows 8 as well. Let's get started. So first we'll download our MySQL. So for that, let's open our browser. So here I'm going to use a Chrome browser and here in the browser, let's search for MySQL download. So when you search for MySQL download in the search result, you're going to see the uh, official website of MySQL. So now let's go ahead and click on this link. So when you click on that, you will redirect to the official website of MySQL. So here in the home page, you, you will have some detail about MySQL. And if you scroll down at the bottom, you will see MySQL community link. So now let's go ahead and click on that. So here for MySQL download, we have this MySQL EM repository, API repository, cluster, router, cell, all different options. Here we're gonna use the last one that's the MySQL installer for Windows because we are using Windows. So now let's go ahead and click on that. So once you click on that, you will see the, the latest version of MySQL community version available for download. So here right now, we have 8.0.32 version as the latest version for download. So we will download this 8.0.32 and for downloading there are two options. One is the web base which is 2.4 MB and second is Second is the full version, which is close to 437 MB. Now we'll download the full version, which is 437 MB. So for downloading that, so here you have this download button. Just so just click on that. And here in the next page, it will ask you to log in into Oracle account. And if, even if you don't want to log in into that, you, you have this link. No, thanks. Just start my download so just click on that so once you click on that it will start the download for your mysql installer so we'll wait till the, our download is completed and we'll start the installation process once this download is completed so it's look like our download is completed so now let's minimize this and go to our download folder so here you will see the mysql installer for your windows system so for installation, just double click on it. So now your installation is started. Yeah, I think this process will take some time. So we'll wait till our installer is ready to start. This is the first page of our MySQL installer. So here we have different options like developer default, server only, client only, full and custom. So here we'll go with the last one called custom. So now let's select this custom and click on next. So here uh, in the custom, we have to select the required software for our MySQL installation. So first we'll select the server. So expand this MySQL server and select this 8.0.32 and just click on this arrow. So we'll be added to the uh, right hand side now we will check the application and here in the application we first we have mysql workbench so we will expand that and we add this workbench as well and al along with that you have visual studio cell and router we, we, we are not going to install those product and now let's see the documentation and the documentation we have the simple and example so we'll install the simple data for our mysql so expand that and add the simple and example to the right side 
So before you click on next, you make sure you edit this MySQL server, MySQL workbench and simple an example for your MySQL installation. And now let's click on next. So here in the next page, as you can see, we have selected the server workbench and example. So all these three suits are ready to install. Now here, let's click on execute. So it will start the installation for our server first and then it goes to workbench and then sample and examples. So our server is installed now, it's installing workbench. So now this workbench is also installed along with the sample and example. So our all three suits are installed. Now let's go ahead and click on next. So in the next page is gonna configure your MySQL server and simple an example. So here just click on next. So here you have to select the type and network. So here first one is drop down. So you have uh, different options. So here we are using for our a local purpose so here we'll go with the first one called development center uh, sorry development computer and then we have tcp ip and then port and uh, protocol port so we'll go with the default we'll not make any changes to that and we'll go with the default setting and click on next so here uh, there are some warnings about setting up your root password and now let's go ahead and click on next so here you have to set up the password for your root one so i will select the password so it says weak but that's fine and click on next so here you have some settings about your windows services so here I set this Windows Server name, so that is the default MySQL 80. So if you want to change it, you can give the name for your MySQL. I will go with the default one. And in the next one, you have this Run Windows Services. So I will go with the standard system account and click on Next. So here it is asking to grant access to your program data, which will be stored uh, using MySQL server so you just select the default first option and click on next so here you have different uh, options for configuration so it will apply all this configuration to your MySQL server so here you just have to click on execute so it's gonna execute all this config configuration on top of your MySQL server so now all this uh, database configuration are applied and now let's go ahead and click on finish. So here it will give you some information about uh, the configuration. So now let's go ahead and click on next. So here uh, for our Windows Server, we have this MySQL Server 8.0.32. This is our port number and it says it's running and you have user called root and now let's check the password and click on check so it says connection succeeded so overall the configuration is set up correctly and our server is up and running now let's go ahead and click on next so here it is gonna apply the next set of configuration so here let's go ahead and click on execute so yeah it look like our second set of configuration is applied you can check log as well now let's go ahead and click on finish so here it says the configuration is complete for mysql server and simple and example so let's go ahead and click on next so this is the our last page of MySQL installation. So here we have the message about the completion of our installation process. Even if you want to check the log, you can copy this log 
into your clipboard and can save into file but I think everything went well so I will not look at this log of this MySQL installer but while installation if you face any issues you can check the log of uh, installation and here we have checkbook which says start MySQL workbench after setup so I'm gonna start MySQL so I will, I will check that and click on finish so it's gonna launch our MySQL workbench So now let's maximize this and here you can see our MySQL 80 server which we just configure during the installation. Now let's connect to that for that just double click on it. And in the next step it will ask for the password which we set while installation. So please make sure you, you, you make a note of your password which you set for the root so I will enter my password and if you want to save that you can check that and click on OK so now we connected to our MySQL database using MySQL workbench so here we have two tab one is administrator administration and second is schema so in administration you have like uh, server status so if you go go to that server status it will give you the status about your server then you have this client configuration then you can check your user and its privileges and then you have system uh, status and variables and you can play around this data export import and also you can shut down and, and start up your instance of your database you can check your server logs and other options files and also you can check the performance of your database here you have the, the de uh, dashboard for your database and other uh, report you can run on your top of your MySQL server now let's close this and here in the next tab you have schema so here you can see we have two schemas which are already installed one is uh, Sakila and second is Vault uh, let's minimize this and first let's expand this world so just double click on that so it will uh, the schema will be activated so now world schema is activated and you expand this table you will see this uh, table called city country and country language now let's expand the city so here you have these columns it's called ID name country code under string and if you want to query the table you just say uh, select star from city so you just select this query and you execute it so here you will see the the records for your city table yeah that's all for this uh, mysql server and mysql workbench installation process hope this video will help you to install mysql on your system and running some command on top of your, top of your, your mysql database and thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video